I, you know, I, I, uh, like I, like I said in the beginning, I would rather. I understand the Navy's position, but we have already had circumstances where Santa Rosa County bought the property with some surplus funds and turned around and sold the developmental rights to the Navy. Mm -hmm. But we own it. Right. If if we want to let uh, someone hunt on that property, we can. If we wanna if we wanna go plant row crops on it, we can. We, the county, have control of it. Now, I, I just don't agree. Uh, you can you can yell at me or whatever. I just don't agree in developmental rights purchases. I just think it's a bad deal. Well, what I find very interesting is that apparently no other property owners in that area were interested in having a $2 million check for their you, development you, rights. You know, when, when we look at that map and... and and our wish list, as it's been referred to mm -hmm. by, by one county commissioner, the wish list, it seems that there's only two families out of all of those property owners up there that are willing that are willing to sell. Apparent, well, according to uh, county officials, this was the only family, the Griswolds, who were, the letter was sent out, and they were the only ones who were interested in uh, going through this process and getting their government check. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, maybe everybody else wants to develop the land. I, I, I can't imagine. I haven't asked him. Well, Jerry, Commissioner Bob Cole asked exactly how they came about uh, the decision to pick this particular family, this particular parcel, to, uh, to buy the development rights on. And, and here's, here's the answer. One thing that confused me about this cluster, there will, at this point, if this goes through, there will be nothing built on this. That's correct. They, uh, other than the 10 acres they reserve. Correct. And how did we determine to buy this large parcel? I, I know it's part of the plan, versus using some of this money to buy this parcel that's uh, actually closer. That says, uh, I think the owner's McCormick. Were they not willing sellers? or? They weren't. Um, all the property owners on the um, listed properties under the Navy plan were sent letters about a year and a half, two years ago, and the McCormicks were not. Of course, at that time, development was higher. I think people expected a lot more in return, but they weren't, uh, didn't desire to sell their property for that amount. And uh, that's why the Navy wants this parcel. I just wondered, you know, so in other words, everybody in this plan of property purchase or, or, or development right purchasing was notified, and it was kind of basically a first-come, first-served basis. Yes, that's you know, right. Basis. And, and also, especially when the Navy works through their process, there is, there is a map that the Navy prioritized several years ago uh, that includes about... I guess probably 300 and something parcels of property around the base and they, they have prioritized that property and that's the map we work from when I say we Mr. Dan Heiser working with the Navy um, the higher priority to the, to the Navy that's what we support so if you don't have a willing seller then we move to the next one and the next one and the next one well that's um and of course, some of the other commissioners, you know, ask ask the same thing that I've asked. Why aren't we Why aren't we buying it? I, I mean, yes. I, I I also think. I mean, let's be fair. If we if we bought the the Rollo property for eighty seven hundred dollars an acre, I think we should use eighty seven hundred rather than the ten thousand, and seventy five percent of that. I might even be able to live with that, but I'm I'm very uncomfortable with an appraisal that's thirteen hundred dollars an acre more a year later in a spiraling real estate market. That's well, that's the other issue. Is I, I'm not sure why we're required to take the number that the appraisers handed over to the county and say, okay, well, here's my money. <laughs> I mean, if, if if the property owner is, I, I assume they're interested in getting their check. Or they wouldn't be involved in the program. Right. I, you know, surely there's some room for negotiation there. Well, 
Because the Navy will, the Navy will only pay for. This is what we're being told. Will only pay for the development rights. They they'll only pay. pay they'll only pay seventy five percent. Right. But but, ladies and gentlemen, just like just like we showed you on the five points episode, um, it seems to me that in a down economy, when real estate prices are down, we are rushing out and paying top dollar for every thing that we might be interested in. Right. And, you know, I, I sent an email to one of the commissioners, and one of the questions I asked him was, uh, on a big ticket item, have you ever paid the stick price? Right. Well, we don't do that in our home life. Right. I will guarantee you anybody who has ever bought an automobile in their life, and that's a whole lot less than $2.1 million, I will guarantee you they look at the sales manager and say, you're going to have to knock 10% off of that, or you're right. going to have to, floor mats are free, and I want a different set of rims on there. You're going to negotiate that down. And, Absolutely. And, and, and I've always wondered why people act one way in their home life, but when they become an elected official, they don't do the same kind of negotiations. They pretty much just, like, here's our checkbook. You see how much we got. Now tell us how much you want. Right. You know, and, and, and again, I think we can assume if this, if this process has been 10 years in the making and this particular property owner is the only person who was identified, who was interested in, in getting their government check, that this property owner would surely be open to negotiate. I mean, they, they want that check, obviously. Sure. Negotiate with them. Well, uh, you know... Um, uh, that family happens to be with one of the largest landowners in Santa Rosa County. You know, they're not starving to death. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't have it in my nature to be that way. I would think at that point in my life, I would say this county's been very good to me. Let's negotiate that, you know. But uh, apparently some people, some people don't view it that way. I... You know, the rich get richer and the taxpayers get poorer is kind of how it works out. So. Yeah, well, that's what it looks like. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, took, took a little trip down developmental rights, and, and uh, I hope we've educated you and entertained you a little bit along the way. Uh, tell your friends and neighbors. Uh, Mediacom, Channel 27, every 4.30 to 5. And, uh, you Saturday. Can see, on Saturday, and you can see us on YouTube and send some emails out and... Uh, I know that our audience is growing because people are. I'm kind of. I'm. I'm still kind of shocked at the people that walk up and tell us, "Hey, I caught mm -hmm. your last show." So, uh, we we hope it's beneficial. And once again, uh, drop us a line and let us know what you want us to do a show on. Good night.